Hello there. Saturday mornings to all of my Buffy fans. Hope you guys are doing well. It's currently 7.20 in the morning here in Australia. I'm like, what better way to start the day than to react to a double header of Buffy. Today is Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 2, Episode 9 and 10. Um, but in two separate videos. So we're going to be watching Episode 9 in this video, What's My Line, Part 1. And then another video, Episode uh, 10. So the last two videos, unfortunately, episode 7 and 8 have got copyright claim. The visibility is fine, so everyone can see it. I just can't earn revenue on them for some reason. Everything else has been fine up until this point. It's like, as soon as I upped the volume levels of the show on OBS, it started getting copyright strike, those two videos. And I've reduced it back down to, I think, what it was originally. I don't think it still is, but we'll see if that hopefully helps and I stop getting copyright claim because at the start of uploading it, it uploads, does the checks and everything's fine. It's not till like an hour later that I get another email saying, oh, your video has been copyright claimed. I'm like, what the heck? You said it was fine at the beginning. I know it takes a while sometimes, but yeah, hopefully you guys are still enjoying the content. I know someone said in the comment section um, in the last video that they just donated blood and they, there was nothing better to come to than to finish off their day by watching my video. And I was like, oh man, that's crazy. That's like, glad I'm glad I'm making you guys days, hopefully. But yes, um, feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. Links are in the description. It's Ellie Moses 14 for both of them. But yeah, so let's get right into episode nine. What's my line? Part one. Let's waste no more time. Let's go. No, it's just these people can't tell from one multiple choice test what we're going to be doing for the rest of our lives. It's ridiculous. Hey, that's I'm fact. Kind of curious that's to fact. What sort of career I could have. We worried so much in what school about multiple choice freaking for like visual arts or something. Dark. And like, it, it wasn't your career. It wasn't your career. Yes, like, always be stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's kid. It's like every time Spike freaking upset Drusilla. Like, he would come out hard and just, like, reject her and freaking go off at her. Then Drusilla would get angry and then, or, like, even sad put on the puppy face. And he has to, like, say, I'm sorry. Because it's either she's really powerful, she can do some crazy stuff, or he's just, like, very careful of her and he doesn't want to hurt her feelings because he loves her that much. I'm not sure yet, but it's pretty funny because this probably goes on about a hundred times throughout the day. And we just see it, like, a couple times. <laughs> supposed to hold your cure. It reads like gibberish. Rest in peace, have no sanctity to you people. <laughs> oh, I forgot. She was camping outside the door. One down. And the other one ran off. <laughs> gone. <laughs> Buffy. Far out. You scared me. Now you know what it feels like, stealth guy. Better than I know myself. What's this about? When you look at me, do you think prison guard? <laughs> um, prison guard, maybe, but prison guard? They just put up the assignments for the career fair, and according to my test results, I can look forward to being gainfully employed in the growing field of corrections. <laughs> well, Poor Xander. Well, you still be on the right side of the bars. <laughs> I wonder how many takes that would have Thank taken you. just to make sure I've the been, books uh, didn't fall. <laughs> indexing the Watcher Diaries covering the last couple of centuries. To be very serious, I mean, if you'd made an effort uh, to be more thorough in your observations. You know, if you don't like the way I'm doing my job, why don't you find somebody else? Hey, yo, hey, yo. Oh, that's right. There can only be one. I need to bring in the big guns. I'll <laughs> take care of her once and for all. Big I wonder guns. who these big guns are. Taraka. The bounty hunters? Yo, there's vampire bounty hunters? That's kind of sick. Coming to my party. In fact, I'm so inspired by your leadership, I'm thinking principal school. I want to walk in your <laughs> shoes. Not your actual <laughs> shoes, of course, because you're a tiny person. <laughs> Not tiny in the small sense, of course. Xander just done. keeps digging his hole. Where is she? I can only hope that one day I'm in a position to be that honest with you. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> Yo, well, love to stay in chat. I got an appointment with the warden on standard riot procedure. Xander's really that honest, bro. The slurs that will come out about Principal Willow Snyder. Rosa. Come with us, please. Excuse me? Yo, Willow's gonna be like some Harvard student. Watch. Yale, Harvard. Is that the top two in America? 
had been selected to meet with Mr. McCarthy, head recruiter for the world's leading software concern. Oh, okay. The jet was delayed by fog at SeaTac, but he should be here any minute. Please, make yourself <laughs> comfortable. One other Sunnydale student met our criteria. Wait, who else? Don't tell me it's Cordelia. So oh, Oz! Oh! Oh! No way. Here we go, and it begins. Canapé. I'm guessing they've been keeping track of how much, like, Willow's been accessing like restricted systems and hacking into them. So yeah, it's gonna be good. She gets to work with probably Elon Musk or Bill Gates in the future. This is the startup of what we've come to know today. Oh bro, I thought it looked like The Undertaker for a second. It does. Is he the vampire bounty hunter? Cause if he can't be because he's hopping out in broad daylight to school. Yo, what the heck happened? That's not normal skincare, fam. That's... I don't know what that is, but... That, uh... Oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. This flight attendant got wrecked. By who? Oh, hello there! Hello there, in the words of my intro. She whooped his ass. She one of the bounty hunters as well. Cause they're hopping out in broad daylight. I don't know how it works anymore. I like bounty hunters different. Connected to the one you slayed last night. Cody, research party. Well, you need a life in the worst way. Speaking of, I really have to bail, but I promise I'll be back bright early. Sorry, I was drinking. But Xander has such good one-liners, man. Bro, look how effortlessly she ice skates. I tried ice skating once, it didn't end well. Me and my friend were falling over each other. Like, we're trying and we're hanging on to each other, like cool running style, man. We're hopeless. And then SMG right here is just freaking like doing 360s and effortlessly doing it, man. It's just, wow. It's not cool, man. Never again. Hey, at least it's like the first time we see Buffy have a little bit of freedom. Oh, shut up, Undertaker, man. Leave her alone. But at least it's like the first time we get her, like, she has a bit of freedom. That, like, the bit of 30 seconds with the piano music. Yeah, it's like she finally gets to zone out from her world of slaying. And you can see her in her element. And I'm just waiting for Angel to come save her. Yep, there we go. The boy. She can never have a peaceful time with Angel. Oh, that was sick! No blood. Hmm. He's passing under our feet. I didn't even notice. Hey, yo. Is that how good looking Angel is? You can't even tell when he's out or in a vampire. Buffy's capping bro, I can tell. Buffy's just trying to make him feel better and she just kissed a vampire, yeah. Oh now this is my baddie, damn. How is that guy still alive? I thought they can only die by stakes through the heart. She slit his throat but wouldn't he come back? Cause clearly he hasn't disappeared. His own way. Some are human. Oh, oh. Some are not. That's savage, man. This guy deserves an ass whooping. The he most out of them all. The Undertaker true. guy's the Undertaker. He's fine. This guy looks like a flop. He doesn't get his ass kicked. The other girl, she's alright. She's good looking. So. What is he doing? Pause. Try what? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Still not clear what I'm supposed to try. Nothing. God, I'm sorry. I... Yo, Angel's got some collector's items in his room, bro. He's like me, like, whoa! 
collector's items, except we collect different things, but similar, similar, you know, actions right there. Except these ones probably predate freaking the Egyptians, but mine are pretty modern, so yeah. It's too bad, cuz. I'm staying away from that whole scene. Oh! I'm living right, Angel. Is he the guy from, um... Oh, what's his name? Is he from Fast... Uh, bad Boys, Bad Boys. Um, is it Jojo? When they go in interrogating him? And he's like, had a past, and he's like... Oh, um, I'm not about that life anymore. I'm not about that life. And they interrogate the crap out of him. And they finally get the information out. He's like, I know one guy. One guy. I, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's Bad Boys 1. And then it's, I think it's the same actor. And it's like a similar situation where he's getting interrogated by someone. And he's like, had a past with it. Sure you are, Willie. And it'll cost you. It'll cost who? Okay, okay. He and that freaky chick of his are... Oh, damn. Hey, yo, chill, Beyonce. Oh. oh okay, that's a commercial break. <laughs> Out of all the bounty hunters, she can survive this one. She seems pretty cool. But she has attitude. She is also whooping Angel's ass at the moment. Who are you? If you tell me what I need to know, I won't hurt you. <laughs> you think this is funny? I think it is funny now. Oh, I, I did. Yell. The one I saw you with before. You stay away from her. I did not expect the Jamaican accent. Yo. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know. The gal you saw before, you know. Ah. You are not in a position to threaten. Wasn't enough time for me to find your girlfriend. The way she even says it. More than enough time for me to find your girlfriend. Poor Willow. <laughs> Bro, she's been overworked, man. Don't mind the tadpoles. Alright. Tell us, what are you doing here? It's the library, Willow. You fell asleep. Oh. Hi. Don't warn the tadpoles. Bro, Willow's the only person that can, like, fall asleep in school, wake up the next morning in school, and still be fine. Because, like, you know, we're always waiting for that three o'clock bell. Or well, I was at school, but like, oh, I want to go home. <laughs> Especially when I was, like, in my younger years. I was like... I want to go home, even though I wasn't allowed to play games during the week, so I only allowed to play Friday to Sunday on my PlayStation and Xbox, so I wasn't allowed. But still, I just wanted to go home, man. I just wanted to go home. <laughs> I, I have frog fear. The key to your cure, ducks. You're missing the bloody link, you fuzz. Right. Right in front of us. The old time. I kind of want them to heal Drusilla just to see what she would become. I like, I don't want Buffy to stop them. Like, I want Drusilla to return to full power just to see if she changes in terms of, like, accent, energy-wise, the way she looks, the way she portrays herself, because I'm guessing she will. But, like, I just want them to heal Drusilla just, like, to have more obstacles for Buffy. I kind of like that. Bed for a ride? I'm guessing it's gonna be the neighbor guy. Ah, oh, it's not gonna end well. Good day. I'm Norman Pfister with Lush Beautiful Skin Care and Cosmetics. I was wondering if I might interest you in some free samples. Free? Ah, oh. Cordelia, no! Exact same like shot format and progression. Is she gonna scream as well? Oh no. Oh, jeez! You must be number two. She came with an intent to kill, not even to reason. That's what I like. Thanks for the wake up, but I'll stick with my cloud radio. <laughs> hey, it's sometimes good to try different alarms. You know, an axe to the head is not bad. Who are you? Who am I? 
attack me? Who the hell are you? I'm Kendra, the vampire slayer. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone. Kendra, my, I told you she's my girl. I knew it. She's a badass. She just locked. So this is what happens. This is how we're going to save Angel. They're going to speak with each other. She's probably a vampire slayer from like a different, I guess, sex or different town. I don't know, but she's a badass. I was like, no wonder why she can stay in the sun somehow. But I guess because they're bounty hunters as well, the other two, like they're different. Like in terms of like, I don't know, they got different abilities. But yeah, um, this was a pretty good ending. That was a perfect way to end it, you know? I'm guessing they're going to converse with each other. She's going to tell him about Angel and they're going to go save Angel. But yeah, um, for you guys, um, I'm not going to commentate on this episode so far. I'm going to commentate as the entire two-parter as a whole. So the next episode is going to be directly uploaded with this. It will be like a follow-up. They're going to be uploaded together at the same time. So thank you guys for watching episode one. Hopefully you enjoyed. The energy is great on this Saturday morning. And for everyone else, I don't know when you're watching it, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed as well. Feel free to like, share, subscribe. And now we're going to move on to part two of What's My Line. Take care, God bless, and peace. Let's go, baby. <laughs>